Welcome back, y'all. Today I got a product by one of the most respected guys in vaping. Uh, he's come out with some of the most anticipated products. He's brought squonking to the mainstream. Uh, yeah, with that said, it is the Pulse 24 BFRDA by Vanny Vape and Tony B. Uh, I watch the Vapor Channel channels and I, I respect Tony a lot. I haven't met him or talked to him. But he gives off this good vibe that I, I don't want to say believe him, but I trust what he's saying. I don't think he would try to steer anybody the wrong way, but who am I to tell? We don't know. So, But, yeah, he's brought squonking to the mainstream. Everybody squonks now, and he's pretty much one of the guys that liked it. He loved squonking, and he thought everybody should do it, and he came out with the post box, and he just snowball from there and everybody's squonking now you can't vape without squonking or, or hearing about squonking or bottle feeds or oh, squonk bottles and everything and I love squonking too I, I think it's great um, but yeah I'm gonna show you the RDA I'm gonna take it to the table talk about it show you my build bring it back tell you my thoughts on it so alright see you down see you at the table And here she is, the Pulse 24, uh, Vanny Vape with a Tony B project. Um, got the Vanny Vape, bottom feed RDA, Tony B. You'll have your color, your batch, serial number, scratch and sniff authenticity. You have a little warning, not warning, but information, the China stuff. On the back, you'll have features, 24 millimeter diameter. Leak resistant side direct airflow, bottom feed directly to side juice wells. I like the little image they put on there. In the front, of course, you got your window there. That's on the window. That's not on the uh, RDA. So you take that out on the little sleeve here they give you. You get an 810 drip tip. It's nothing special. Ugh, so tight in there. You got a little 810. You got your RDA. Uh, and you get your little user manual. Get your user manual. It's in all different uh, languages. Nothing special. Uh, you get your tri tool. And you will get O rings with this. Like I said, a friend gave this to me to review, and you will get O rings with this. You get a couple grub screws, extra grub screws, and you'll get your. Try tool and, and 510. I got the, the squonk pin in there already. But this is a unique 510. It looks like it's two, but you actually screw the one into the other and you can raise it up. You can raise it up, which is pretty unique. And here is the star to show the Pulse 24. The two sided air flows, Vandy Vape logo. Get your 810 held on by a O-ring there. It's pretty neat. Bottom here, you get your pulse. A Tony B project. You like a serial number. Your little warning signs. Manufactured by Vandy Vape. And you get your protrude. Yeah, it's protruding. But like I said, they got the one where you can make it the 510 come out a little more. And you got your little insulation going around there. Alright, let's put this on my little stand here. This is a John Beam uh, stand. Check them out. John Beam drip tips and stands. I'll put a link in the description. He's awesome, man. He'll do, get you any type of drip tip you need. So, top cap. First it comes. We'll take a look at the top one. Uh, it's a little domed at there, but not too much. There is a little dome, and you got your airflow things here. I like these RDAs with two part uh, top caps. I like these because it's always on your airflow. It's always hitting your coils. I mean, but yeah, this one you get your airflows here, and they uh, shoot down a little bit. They're angled down. If you could kind of see that, they shoot down. Yeah, they go down. You'll see when I put it on. But yeah, nothing too big. Vandy Vape, they do overbrand a lot. 
Tony B. But yeah, and this it uh minimizes the deck, so it's like a 22 really when you put it on. So here's the deck. I got the old coils in that I was using because I didn't feel like removing them. And you got your two O-rings here, your screws here. You do your little screws and the holes here where they see where my leads are. It's so easy. You put those in. Well, you could clip them. You clip them. And you put them in, and you get them just even with this airflow. Well, the juice well, you got a nice juice well here. It is nice. It's pretty deep here. And the squonk pin, you can't really see it, but it will shoot out here and in here. So it fills up your, your juice well. It's perfect. This is a perfect uh, squonking RDA like it's advertised, so... When you put that on, you see how it uh, minimizes the, the the build deck. It closes it off a little bit, and it's right on your coils. The airflow is right on the coils, so it's angled down, hitting your coil, giving you great flavor. So it hits it, boom, straight up. So you don't have to worry about, you got the locking mechanism, which is great. So you don't have trouble spinning off your mod or anything like that. It's held on by uh, Phillips. They use Phillips screws here, which I like. I don't like uh, flat heads. Um, you got your positive here, your negative. Yeah, nothing, nothing too serious going on here. It's pretty, pretty simple. Pretty simple RDA to, to build on. Yeah, I like these these caps like this for some reason. Like the Sahara had the two-part top cap. So you just put that on, line it up, held on by one O-ring there. You can do one hole. You can do the two. You can just like go in the middle a little bit, cut one off a little bit on the sides there. However you want to do it, you just mess around with it. And that's that. So yeah. That's pretty much the Pulse 24. Nothing too serious about it. Um, yeah. So, take it back up top. I'll tell you how I liked it, and we'll get you guys out of here. Alright. Alright, see you back up top. That was the Pulse 24 by Tony B and Vandy V. I got it sitting on the Paranormal at a .12 at 80 watts. Yeah, you just get nice dense hot, dense hot flavor, great clouds. Um, that was at half one hole. Let me just do it with the. I've been rocking it with both open. This is with both open. Yeah, you just it, the flavor intensifies when it has both open for me. I'm I'm starting to like that hot dense vape. Uh, yeah, it's a great easy build. Um, you just put your coils in, screw them down. You got the direct airflow going in, hitting your coil. You can't get any better than that. Um, it's perfect size, perfect. I don't know. I can't think of any cons for this. The look is nice. Maybe the, the branding. I don't like so much branding on it, but I know that's Fanny Vape's thing. They like doing the branding. Uh, yeah, I hate not having too many cons because I feel like I, that I'm, it feels like I'm not telling you guys I'm judging it wrong or something, but it really doesn't have any cons. I haven't had any cons building it. I haven't had any problems with this thing. The juice well is nice. Uh, it's great for squonking. It's a squonk RDA, so it's going to be great for squonking. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, the, it comes out both juice fills both juice wells. It's perfect. I haven't had any leaking. It's pretty much leak resistant. So yeah, well, I would definitely recommend getting this. It's a great product. Like I know it's old, but hey, I'm t it's new to me. So yeah, I would get the Pulse 24. So if you want, I'll put a link in the description where you can get it. Uh, yeah. But that was the post 24. I hate not having a con. I feel like I should have a con. 
But I just want to thank everybody, man. I'm getting so much support and love from you guys, and it really means so much to me, man. Like, I haven't had much time to make uh, videos lately with getting a new van and the kids going back to school. But you guys are commenting and leaving me messages and just being great. And I really appreciate that, guys. I really do. So, if you ever want ask me a question, I'm always around. I always... I always like commenting back and loving comments and being interactive with you guys. That's just how I like to be. So, alright. Until next time, do something nice for somebody. Uh, enjoy that vape. No matter what you guys do, as long as you enjoy it, then you're not vaping wrong. There is no vaping wrong. So, enjoy your vape, man. Do something that you like. As long as you like it, it's good. So, alright guys. Vape on.